Okay, I'm gonna start drawing this white tail buck as fast as I can. You can see the reference maybe up on top there. I start with the antler as far over as I can to the left. And so I'm, like I say in my other videos, I'm not dragging my hand over it. This antler goes behind this one. This goes here. I've been drawing white-tailed deer for quite some time because this I did this when I was a kid. Back on the farm. And then I did this at work when I was sitting in my truck before I went to work. So that's why I gained speed because if you're going to do it right before you get go into your job or school or whatever and you only give yourself a certain amount of time to do it of course I got a lot more time today but but when I was going into work I had five or ten minutes usually when I got there to draw so I would use that time to draw and it made my the rest of my night at work or afternoon so much better because I feel like I accomplished something by drawing before I went into work. So, if you want to feel better, better about yourself, you can you can always do this when you're sitting in your car in a parking lot before you go into work instead of so going in and sitting else to listen to somebody else's sob stories or having a Sometimes they'll have to lead the conversation or discuss their problems with you when you really don't need to hear their problems. You're not a counselor, or at least I wasn't. I didn't consider myself a counselor. There was a place where I worked where the guy was, one guy was going to take his break with me, and it's like, no, this is my break, so I'm going to take it by myself where I want to. I don't know if that makes me a jerk, but that's how I do things. I don't need him to sit there and manipulate my break times with his stories. So that's uh, that's how I saw it. So I would draw my breaks too a lot of times or listen to what I wanted to listen to. That nose didn't get long enough. So I'll erase it and make it a little longer. I was, right, I was right the first time, but if you try to do it faster, sometimes you can end up with a way better drawing than you can sit and labor over it. And uh, like I said, if you carry your drawing pad with you, and if you're sitting for waiting for somebody for an appointment or something like that, Instead of sitting there looking at your phone, which you're probably doing right now when, when you're listening to me or watching this, but but this is what I would do instead of looking at my phone like other people, unless I was looking at another art video. So, but I'm just trying to help you out with this. So. So I'm not timing. I used to hang a uh, watch on my rearview mirror so I knew when I had to hurry up and get in the, get in the building to punch in on the time clock. And I'm not in a big hurry right now. I'm just waiting. Waiting for my wife at the clinic. So, so anyways, I'm not going to go up here and I can finish this second antler. If I can see it properly yeah this is this one actually belonged to this antler and this behind it goes to the other antler so we'll change that line 
And this one belongs to the other antler, so we'll cut this line off. We'll go like this. This is kind of a mess. So clean that up a little bit. And then we'll go like that. And this will go on this one. And then we'll look and see how it's shaded. Oh, not very shaded. It must be on a gray day when that guy took this picture. So we'll just clean that up a little bit. And both of these antlers were in line with each other according to the way this guy um, photographed. So he was actually right, right where this one sat in front of the other. Not usually you don't you don't find that very often because one will be way ahead or way behind or whatever you know. So there, I'll make it a little darker here. A little cross hatching going on there. And darken this a little. Some of these have knurls on them, you know, on the lower part of the antler. So we'll just add a few scrigglers in there. And then it looks like it's darker on the backside, which a lot of a lot of whitetail bucks are. It's darker on the backside, darker on the around the nose too. Darker on the horns, antlers over the eye. We better make the nose a little darker. Just for fun. Just for fun, boys and girls. And this is only the picture they let you see here, so. So. So that'll about do it for this one. <laughs>